So I've been using Lightspeed for the last two years. Awesome program. Um, I've used several POS systems, and this is by far the best one I've ever seen. Um, but I've been struggling with creating products. It always takes a long time. Um, so after using Lightspeed for about six months, I'm like, I need to find a better solution to quickly create a lot of products. And Excel allows me to do that. So what I've done is I've created this really, really basic template. I've excluded a lot of the web information. Um, and I did that because I like to tweak my products before I send them over to our Magento website. But I did include um, the web description for this example. And um, I also have a column here for photo. Um, this allows me to bulk import images. I'm not going to explain that in this video. What I'm going to do is ex explain how to create products very quickly and products that are saleable. So what I've, what I've got here is a, I've got a working product. Um, and these orange boxes represent all the information that I have to input to have a working, saleable product. And if you just look at this, it's pretty obvious. You know, this is all the stuff that you need um, if you were just going to create a product within Lightspeed. Um, but one thing I did do uh, just to make my template a little better is I ran a bunch of reports to gather all my classes, all my suppliers, and all my families. Um, and the reason why I did that is when you're importing into Lightspeed, everything needs to be spelled correctly, spaced correctly. So I just got all my information from Excel and I created these drop down lists. I'm not going to explain how I did that. It's very simple with Lightspeed. But uh, as you can see, it, it just is easy, clear. Um, you guys get the picture. So I've created my first product. Um, it's a uh, master product with three child products, small, medium, and large. Uh, put in the retail, put in the wholesale. And I also added this, this margin column so I can verify that my pricing is correct. I don't like to make mistakes. As I'm sure you guys don't want to make mistakes to, with, with your pricing because it can be costly. So the next thing we need to do is let's create a new product. What I do is I start from the right and just drag over to the left and highlight my product. As you can see, the dotted line around all the information that I copied. Go to a new cell, um, lined up, hit com Command V, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Uh, first thing I do is I change my product code. Um, and then I just tab over, change my supplier code. And I like to keep my supplier codes unique because I don't want other companies, uh, our competition, seeing our supplier codes online. So I keep these two unique. Um, got my supplier. Um, let's change the category just for this example. Um, and I'll update the description. Change this to two. And we'll make this red. And let's make a unique web description. It's always good for uh, SEO. So how quick was that? We updated the product code, supplier code. Um, this information was all copied from above. This was already copied from above. Um, but let's say we needed to expand our size run, no big deal. Uh, what I do is just copy a working cell. Command C, you can see what I've highlighted. And then Command V right below. And let's make this, uh, let's make this an XL. And as you can see, it just changes everything for you. So really quickly, I made bunch of products. Let's do this one more time just to show you how easy it is. Product three. Uh, let's change this to, let's go up to 75 for this one. And we'll make this product description three. Obviously, you might spend more time on your product descriptions than I'm doing. I'm just giving you an example of how this, this really helps. Let's make this uh, green. And we'll make this unique as well. So there you go. Uh, we created a bunch of products very quickly. All the information's right. It's working. Uh, it's consistent. It's good for searching. It just works. Um, I, I've 
struggled with getting a lot of my employees to um, enter information the same way every time. And if you don't have consistent data entry, everything kind of falls apart. So you want to start with good information and work with that. So what do I do next? Um, what I like to do is I always like to save a copy of my Excel spreadsheet. So I'll, I'll call this one, um, I'll call this test two. And I'm gonna save it as an Excel workbook because it has formulas in it. And if I made any mistakes, I can always open up my original file and work off of that rather than trying to recreate the formulas. So I've got this saved, everything looks good. What do I do next? Well, I'm gonna copy and paste, or not copy and paste, I'm first gonna highlight manually everything that I wanna copy to a new workbook. And what I'm doing is just, this is an extra step, I just like to do this because it's clean, it works for me. So I Command C to copy everything that's highlighted in blue. I'll do a new workbook, which is just Command N and Command-V to paste it. I'll expand this. Um, you can, you've already done your double checks, so you should be confident that everything's right. Um, and everything looks pretty good to me. So the next thing I'll do is I need to save this as a CSV file. Uh, that's what Lightspeed can read. So how do I do that? Pretty easy. Save as. We'll go to my folder that I've created and I'll just call this uh, test import number two and very important, CSV. So we're ready to go. Save that. So, oh, you might get an error, no big deal, just hit continue. Um, it's not really an error message, it's just a warning. So now that I've got my products created and saved and my Excel sheet saved, what do I do next? I need to import this information into Lightspeed. So, super easy. All you need to do is go up to Tools, Import Tools from the drop down, and it'll give you this little window. First thing you do, import products. I always like to go down to the Options tab first and I always set this Import Products, except if there's existing products with a matching product code in the database. What this tells me is that Lightspeed won't import a product if it already exists with that product code. Because you don't want a database filled with duplicates. So I always set this up first. Um, if you import a file that has duplicate entries it will go through the import process and Lightspeed will tell you, hey, we already have these files in our database. We're not going to import two copies. That's great. So I always just like to make sure my, my spreadsheet before I import it, I double check it so there's no duplicate product codes and everything else looks right. Pretty obvious. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this little window over here to, to locate our file. And there it is. And so on the left here, I have all my header items from my Excel spreadsheet, product code, uh, master question mark. You don't really have to know what that is, uh, but all the information is, is here. And on the right here, we have all of Lightspeed's attributes. Um, I, think, I don't think they call them attributes, but I do. Um, and these need to match up. So what I've done is I spent some time before I did this uh, import, I created a preset and I just called mine bulk product presets. Uh, you might have to read about what these are, but they're really easy to set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it and apply it. And what it does is it moved everything around so now all my fields match up. And you'll see I have a couple uh, boxes that really don't make sense and they're not checked. I'm just telling Lightspeed to bypass and don't import these cells. Uh, this it was my margin cell and another one that isn't really important. But everything else looks really good. It all matches up. Um, I'm going to uncheck my photo for this example just because I don't have a fo uh, my photo set up for this test. So what I 
last uh, last step here is just go over, review, everything looks good. Um, and if this is your first time creating a uh, matching these fields up, you can always create a preset. Just hit the preset button, type in a new name, and save it so you can use it in the future. Very, very helpful if you're going to do a lot of importing with Excel. So I'm good to go. Next thing I do is I just hit import, and um, Lightspeed will start importing. Uh, depending on the number of products, it might take uh, a minute to an hour, uh, depending on how many products you import at once. Uh, the reason why this is so great, um, it allows you to fix mistakes. Um, oftentimes creating products in Lightspeed, you, you'll create a master product and uh, you won't create it properly. The supplier code might be wrong, the, the product code might be wrong, uh, you might have misspelled the color in the product uh, matrix. Um, and to undo that, it's really, really difficult. But if you start with an Excel spreadsheet, you can always go back to that Excel spreadsheet, fix the problem, and re-import it. I'm not gonna talk about updating products in this video, but uh, I just wanna give you a general idea of how great Excel and Lightspeed play together. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it helps uh, some of you retailers. Thanks.